Somerville, with the election being close in swing states, recounts are beginning in Georgia and Wisconsin. Joe Biden currently holds a 20,000 vote lead in Wisconsin and a 14,000 vote lead in Georgia, but claims of voter fraud from President Donald Trump have sparked a national call for a recount of votes. Election officials will have to count votes again, this time triple checking every detail from possible out-of-state voting to mismatching voter signatures on mail-in ballots. Georgia is in the middle of a hand recount and their two most populous counties, Fulton and DeKalb, have recently finished. Wisconsin has not yet begun its recount, but the process is expected to begin later this week. These states held a large amount of electoral votes and are good contributors to Biden's victory, but the margin of votes is too large to be expected to flip the result. The last state to flip during a recount was Florida 20 years ago, but the margin then was only 500 votes. Recounts must be finalized by December 12th so that the Electoral College can start, so expect to be sure of the results after New Year's. Stay tuned for more information about the election. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Marley Bassett. Next, here's Mason with the latest about next week's schedule. Greetings, Stoneville High School. My name is Mason Goss, here to tell you about a great schedule happening next week. On Monday, Gold students will be arriving to school while Green stays home, and on Tuesday, Green will be coming to school while Gold stays home. And then we'll be off for free days during the Thanksgiving period. I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving break, and I'll see you all return here back next Monday with normal hybrid schedule. This is Mason Goss with Wave TV. Hey, Somerville. I'm AC Canty. And I'm Logan Watson, and this is your 2020 Tech Review. Starting off with the phones, the newest Android, I mean Samsung, S20 released in March of this year. The S20 line of phones ranges from $999 for a base model and up to $1400 for the S20 Ultra. These phones came in a wide range of colors such as navy blue, mint green, pink, and red. The base S20 comes with a 6.2 120Hz AMOLED display and a massive 4000mAh battery large enough to last anyone through the day. The cameras are great for filming, especially in 4K at 60fps. Storage isn't a problem with a base 128GB of expandable storage, and with Android 10.0, you will get software support for years. On to the more anticipated iPhone 12, it comes in at a base price of $749, but if you are looking into the 12 Pro Max, you're looking at a starting price of $1,100. They come in a blue, red, green, white, and black, and they come with all 64GB of base storage. All new iPhones come with an upgraded camera and an A14 Biotic chip. The battery life has improved over the years for Apple, and the iPhone 12 is able to last 17 hours on one charge. These new phones are IP68 water resistant and are all capable of running on a 5G network. Enough about phones, on the Logan with the new next gen consoles. If you're not looking for a new phone, here are the next gen consoles. Starting up, we got the PlayStation 5 priced at $399. With backwards compatibility and a new controller, here's what the PlayStation 5 has to offer. PlayStation. Talking about controllers, the PlayStation 5 switched up the design to make it a more sleek and futuristic look. Behind the matte finish and the PlayStation icon grip, the controller got rid of the rumble feature and changed it to the new haptic feedback that makes you feel more immersed in your environment. Besides the new controller, the PlayStation 5 has new features like ray tracing and a faster processor that makes your loading times a thing of the past. The PlayStation 5 sales have been on fire since release, while Xbox has taken a more literal approach. The Firebox, I mean the Xbox Series X, released alongside the PlayStation with a starting price of $499 and a slightly higher processor. Here's what the Xbox Series X has to offer. Keeping to the original layout, the controller looks the same as always, but now has a haptic feedback. Besides the slightly higher processor with the Xbox, it all comes down to what you like. Signing off for the last time for Wii TV, I'm Logan Watson. And I'm AC Canty, and now we get some opinions on the new COVID vaccine. Recently they came out with a new COVID vaccine, would you take it? Uh, probably. And why is that? Because my mom would make me. Great. Well, I think that anything that can help keeps people safe, and if we have the choice to take it, then I think that that's wonderful. They're coming out with a new COVID vaccine. What are your thoughts on it? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about it. I'm very excited about the possibility for a vaccine. Um, as most people are, I think that I'm probably, you know, just a little concerned. If you were given the choice to take the COVID vaccine, would you? Um, no. I feel like there's a lot of secret stuff going on with the vaccine, so I don't kind of trust it. I don't know. Recently, they came out with a new COVID vaccine. Would you take it? Uh, no, unless I was sick. In general, I'm not opposed to vaccinations. I think that they're uh, more likely to do good than bad. However, I have some past experience with a government-funded vaccine that was rushed into production because of a perceived immediate need that overrode any associated risks. Hey, Somerville, this holiday season is coming up, which means there'll be a ton of presents to give out to family and friends. Starting on November 27th, a Black Friday will be here, so you could have a ton of sales on everything you'd want to buy. If you're also looking for new companies for smartphones, Apple is having a great deal this year. 
On the new Apple iPhone, you can save up to over $300 depending on what company you choose with your lines. Also, another great deal this year is going to be the Apple AirPods. You can save up $50, which means there will only be a total of $150 on their Apple AirPods Pro. Lastly, if you're interested in smart home products, you can always rely on Kohl's and Best Buy to give you the best deals. This year, the Amazon Echo Dot 4th generation will be $20 off, which means it will be $30 in total. That is some of the best deals for Black Friday Sunreal. My name is Austin Hooper, and here's David Taylor with the Cyber Monday deals. Hey Somerville, I am so excited because it is officially Christmas time. That means Christmas decorations, Christmas clothes, and even Christmas music. Alexa, play my favorite music. My Little Pony, the movie. Alexa, ah, oh, much better. Whoa, 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 listen. I love Christmas just as much as the next guy, but say it with me now. It's, it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving! Christmas is a month away. So take down the decorations, the clothes, and the music because Thanksgiving is coming up. You know, the holiday of gratefulness. Oh, come on. What's there even to appreciate? I mean, if I wanted an excuse to eat a whole lot of food, I'd just get my heart broken again. <laughs> but at least my holiday has Santa. All you guys have is an overglorified chicken. Low blow, Christmas nut, low blow. How about I get over there and show you some of my Christmas spirit, huh? Oh, I'll show you a low blow. Meet me at the field at 12. Don't be late. For Tucky! For Rudolph! Don't you ever disrespect Christmas again, you hear me? Yes, sir. I will never disrespect Christmas. I love Christmas! Gingerbread, yay! We hope you have a, a great Christmas, Somerville. That's right. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Isaac Cinnamon. And this is Dylan Rosario signing off.